Good morning. My intuition wants to talk again, so um, that means that I'm doing another reading. And I really don't know what those messages will be until um, after this reading, so let me go ahead and get started. All right, part of the deck is the, the, the hangman. So that was the last card that I saw um, when I last used this deck. All right, so let me shuffle five times. Um, just to make sure that the energy is fresh. Okay, got, um, oh, look at that, Queen of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles. Look at that, these two cards came out. So that means, yeah, um, focus on work and mastering your skills. And then the Queen of Swords came out, so clarity. Wow. Okay. All right, let me um, shuffle. Look at that. The hair font came out as well. All right. So let me go ahead and get um, those cards and see what they say. All right. So a card tried to come out and it was blocked. <laughs> yeah, blocked. Page of Swords. Queen of Swords again? What? Oh my God. She came up before and now she's coming again. So yeah, this reading is gonna bring clarity. Ace of Pentacles. seeing <laughs> this is what I'm hearing okay that she's saying so see how like she's facing that pentacle directly with her sword so she has something to say about that pentacle the ace of pentacles so she's like <laughs> I'm hearing um she said, no, you're not gonna try to lie about this pinnacle, all right? This is how it's supposed to be. She's supposed to be in the upright so she can be honest and bring clarity. And this ace of pinnacle is supposed to be in the upright so that it can bring some type of opportunity. Yep, so that's what she's saying. So when she's reversed, that means it's a lie. When this is reversed, that means that's a lie. Yep, that's what she's saying. And that's what I'm hearing. Else? Ooh, look at that. The hair font is out again. Oh my gosh. So you have, what? So you have, all right, you have two of them coming out twice. The Queen of Swords and the hair font. It's just facing him directly. She's like, if you lie to me, I will cut you. That's what she's saying. And he's like, I would never lie to you. I'm the hair font. She's like, yeah, we'll see about that. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. All right, uh, one more card. Ooh, justice came out. Look at that. Justice. Justice next to the hair font. Oh my God. So uh, I'm already getting that. Um, if you're a Taurus, this is your card. You're the hair font number five. And if you're a Libra, you're the justice card number 11. And they came out next to each other. All right. So justice came out after the hair font. So they're next to each other. Whatever that means. 
All right, let me show you what came out. So yeah, that's gonna be five cards. So I'm already getting a message, so let me share that with you right now. Okay. So, he's watching to see if she would catch on to the truth. And it has to do with the Ace of Pentacles, the hair font, and justice. <laughs> yeah, so basically, um, she's saying that um, the Ace of Pentacles is not supposed to be in the reverse. And the hair font knows it's not supposed to be in the reverse. So she knows and he knows that when that Ace of Pentacles is reversed, that's a lie. And that's going to be the justice for them to be able to tell what's true and what's not true. Yep, that's what I'm seeing. The bottom of the deck is, look at that, four swords, healing. And then I'm seeing 11, 11. All right, um, so why the Page of Swords? The Fool. Why the Queen of Swords? Ooh, Eight of Wands. Why the Ace of Pentacles? Ooh, Ace of Cups. Why the hair font? Another uh, Cups. And why the Justice? Ace of Wands. Oh my God. So you have. Ace of Pentacles and Ace of Wands. Oh my. And Ace of Cups? Hang on. All right, I'm seeing these two. So let me point that out. You got these two the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. When you put them together, you're going to get this. All right, let me just show that real quick. All right, so let me go back. Let me get back to that. All right, so the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands, right? Put them together, and you get this. Yeah, you get that. And, but they're not the only ones that came out. Also, the Ace of Cups came out. All three Aces came out. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, and Ace of Cups. Oh. Oh, I'm seeing it. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to share it, but I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it. So bottom of the deck is ten of wands. 
All right, I'm gonna clarify the full uh, eight of wands, ace of cups, nine of cups, and ace of wands. So why the full? Eight of pentacles again. Why the eight of wands? So I'm already seeing two eights here, eight of pentacles and eight of wands. Three of wands to clarify the eight of wands. Oh my God. Why the ace of cups? Ooh. Three of swords, that's pain. Okay, so when you have the Ace of Pentacles with Ace of Cups, why would you get pain? I don't understand. It doesn't make any sense. So yeah, that's blocked. That's just that's that's placed there on purpose. So that's blocked. That's a blockage. All right. Why the Knight of Cups? Look at that. Um, six of Swords. Why the Ace of Wands? Blocked again. So I tried to try a card tried to come out, but it was blocked. So you have the three of um, cups. Okay. So the cards came out. Let's see. Um, what does my intuition want to say? Ooh, the chariot and page of cups. So he wants to say two things. And um, what does his intuition want to say? Oh my god. Okay, that just affected the Ace of Cups, the Knight of Cups, the Three of Swords, Three of Cups, and what's underneath? And the Six of Swords. But what did come out was the Knight of Wands. One card. All right. Um, what does her intuition want to say? Oh, that was quick. One card. The Hangman again. Oh my God. All right. Um, what is this reading mostly about? The hermit in the world. Oh my God, look at that. You got two major arcanas. The hermit in the world. In, not in the world, I'm sorry. No. The wheel of fortune. The hermit in the wheel of fortune. So, yeah, if you're a Virgo, this is your card. You're the hermit, number nine. And the wheel of fortune... Is things going your way? Oh my God, look at that. All right. All right, let me go ahead and um, see what these messages are. All right. Um, the Page of Swords is a uh, male earth sign child. He wants to know and he can also be watching. I'm getting that, yeah, he's watching. The Fool is, uh, that could be an Aries, but it's really about um, starting over, taking a risk, and that's starting at zero. So you start at zero with the Fool, and then you end the journey with the World card, which is number 21. And, um, Eight of Pentacles is about work and mastering a skill. So when you use that, um, he's watching to see if someone, I'm hearing, he's watching to see if someone will figure it out. 
that someone is trying to make a fool of them and it's being done through their job. That's what, I, that's what I'm getting. I'm also seeing that um, he wants to know if um, this person would take that risk and make a fool of themselves and be able to focus on their, their work despite what's been going on. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. And um, the subject is a male because yeah, I'm seeing a male. So the Queen of Swords is about clarity. The Eight of, of uh, Wands is, is something quick. And um, the Three of Wands is about waiting. So I'm already seeing that the Three of Wands is, is a blockage. It's like, it's like, you're supposed to get clarity and something's supposed to happen quickly, but you have to wait. It just doesn't make any sense. So this, this card is just a blockage. This Three of Wands is a blockage. So the opposite of waiting is quick. Yep. So the Eight of Wands takes care of that because it's quick. So, um... He's going to get quick clarity on something and someone. That's what I'm getting. Um, this is like the second time I'm yawning. <sighs> All right. So the Ace of Pentacles. Um, can mean different things, um, but this can be an earth sign, and and this can also be a new opportunity. So this is a new opportunity for a new love, but it's going to result in pain. It doesn't make sense. So yeah, this three of swords is another blockage. So that's going to be reversed. So the opposite of the Three of Swords, the opposite of pain, is healing. Yep. So there's going to be a new opportunity for love. And that love is going to be healing. Alright, that's what I'm getting. And the hair font is um, an external guidance. That's a male. The Nut of Cups is romantic. Offering his cup of love and um, the six of swords is about moving on to something more peaceful so he's getting external guidance to offer his cup of love and that cup of love is going to help him and whoever he wants to move on to something more peaceful. That's what I'm getting. Yep. And justice is, yeah, it's karma. You get what you give. That's karma. And the Ace of Wands is, um, it can mean, it can mean different things. But this could be, um, a far sign. Um, this could also be a new passion. But because I was able to pick up the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands earlier. So, yeah, it's like this wand is being offered. The same way this pinnacle is being offered. It's a new opportunity. The same thing with this wand. It's a new opportunity. And I'm not, I'm not seeing a blockage here. So that's going to be the justice. That's going to be karma. For him to be able to offer <laughs> his wand or new passion. 
to someone that he wants to be friends with. And that someone, I'm seeing female, so that female that he's going to be friends with is genuine. Yep, that's what I'm seeing. So that's going to be um, his justice. To become friends with somebody that he wants to, he wants to offer his cup and his want to. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. So um, my intuition. Um, talks about the chariot. So yeah, if you're a cancer, that's your card. You're the chariot, number seven. The chariot is also about movement. So the more balanced you are, the faster you can move. And he's balanced, yeah. So he's able to move fast because he's balanced. And the Page of Cups, um, that can also be a water sign. Um, that's a very... Um, um, emotionally in tuned child. There's, it could also be someone that's pregnant or going to get pregnant because of the fish in the cup. And it can also be a message. I'm getting a child here. Yeah. A very um, emotionally in tune child. That's what I'm getting. So a very emotionally in tuned male child. And then, um, let me get this. So this is his intuition. Sees the Nine of Wands. So the Nine of Wands is fast, like the fastest night on the deck, but it's also very impulsive. But because he's he's um he's very intuitive, yeah, he's able to go he's able to go fast and get there first. So you have a very intuitive um, Nine of Wands. So not only is he to get there fastest. But he's he's gonna get there first. That's his intuition. And her intuition um is the hangman. So you have surrender number twelve. That could be a Pisces as well. And you also have somebody that has a change in perspective. So these two came out. His intuition and her intuition. Yeah, so her intuition is having a change um, in perspective. Um, so this reading is mostly about the hermit. Yeah, so if you're a Virgo, this is your card. You're the hermit, number nine. And you have the Wheel of Fortune. I mean, things are going to go in his favor. Yep. They're going to go in his favor. That's what the Wheel of Fortune is. Um, yep. Luck is on your side. And luck is on his side. So I'm going to go ahead and... Um, you know what? Hang on. Let me get one more card. So bottom of the deck is, look at that, Temperance. Look at that, Temperance. So when you see this card, Temperance, um, by the way, if you're a Sagittarius, this is your card. Number 14, you're the Temperance. But yeah, when you see this card, it means that you have the Two of Cups, and you also have the Lovers, because you have an angel in the middle. So you have, an, you have a spiritual connection. You have a spiritual with an angel connection with the two of cups. Yep. So you're getting both. You're getting the two of cups and the lovers in the same card. Yep. So he he has that type of connection. He has the two of cups and the lovers all in one card, which is the temperance. So, um... What's, what do you want to say? What's your last message before uh, I end this reading?
Ooh, that's a lot. All right, I'm just, it's a lot of cards, but you know what? I'll just go with it. All right. So you got the King of Pentacles, a very abundant male, that's a Capricorn. Two of Swords being torn. Judgment, ooh, look at that, judgment. So yeah, when your life is over, you will be judged to see if you pass the test or not. And that's your final grade. Uh, six of Pentacles, equal give and take. King of Cups. So, what? So you had the King of Cups and the King of Pentacles? What? And then Eight of Cups, walking away. And it's back to the King of Pentacles. Oh my God, look at that. So you have the King of Cups and the King of Pentacles. Um, I'll get back to that. So these are the other cards that came out. All right. So you got Eight of Cups, Six of Pentacles, Judgment, and Two of Swords. I'm going to go ahead and end this reading on this note. All right. The King of Cups and the King of Pentacles, they both have the potential to become an emperor. So I'm going to go ahead and end this reading on that note. It's a very positive note. I hope I helped you in some way and I'll talk to you again soon.